Let's join Hans Finsel as he is addressing a seminar on leading change for small business owners and entrepreneurs in Denver, Colorado. When I was asked to speak here, I said, absolutely, yes, I'd love to because uh, you all are entrepreneurs and I'm an entrepreneur. And I think pioneers and entrepreneurs are just some of the greatest people. And I, have, uh, I feel your pain. I understand your challenges. We live in a changing world. So thank you for the invitation. Somebody asked me before I started, well, what, why are you some big expert on change? And I said, well, I've been a leader for 25 years. And anybody in leadership knows that you have to be a change agent. Uh, in fact, I define leadership with one word, influence. And whether you influence for good or for bad, if you influence a lot of people, you're a leader. We just uh, honored the death of President Ronald Reagan. Now, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican or liked Reagan or didn't, you have to admit he was a powerful influencer. I was living in Vienna, Austria, when he went to the Berlin Wall and challenged Mikhail Gorbachev to tear down this wall. If you know the story, his advisor all of his advisors around him said, don't do it. You know, don't offend anybody. <laughs> well, that's why he was a great leader. He didn't care about offending people because he had his deep convictions. And so he challenged Gorbachev on that day to tear down the wall. I was in Berlin the week that the Berlin Wall came down. I call it history's greatest prison break. I have never seen such dramatic change in a part of the world than we saw in Eastern Europe when it became free. So I've seen a lot of change and I've experienced a lot of change. And we're going to have a little fun in the next few minutes talking about change. We live in times of dramatic change and I love this poem that I found. In times of change learners inherit the earth while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with the world that no longer exists. Today's leaders